Hey Capricorn, how are you? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and this is going to be for Capricorn Any Placement. It is June 2022, but energy is fluid. So you may resonate with this reading in the past, currently, or anywhere between now and the next three months, depending on where you're at on your journey. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. If you do resonate with this at any time, Capricorn, please hit the like button so that we may have that exchange of energy. And if you're interested in a personal reading, there are links in the description box below that will take you to my Etsy page. There's also reviews. Here you are. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it and see what we have. Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Capricorn in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses Capricorn may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. There's a loss, or it feels like a loss, or maybe it's a void. It's going to be different for all of you, but I'm, I'm seeing some type of loss that took place here. Something was lost. Let's see if we can um, get the details, or... For some of you too, Capricorn, it may just be that you feel like you're in the void because nothing is happening. It's not getting worse, but it's not getting better. You're just kind of stuck. So that could be what I'm feeling as well. All right, we have the Page of Wands, the Two of Wands. Wow, and the Three of Wands, all in the recent past, okay? so action energy here trying to figure out where to direct your focus you have the page of cups a lot of pages young immature energy here page of cups the wheel and the empress and then in the near future you have the hierophant the six of cups and the queen of pentacles there you are all right, bottom of the deck, Capricorn, we have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands with the Ten of Wands, all right? And then you have the Lovers, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, Judgment, the Tower with the Seven of Cups. And then here, the Emperor, and I have the Empress here, so... Some type of divine counterpart could even be you coming into union with yourself, okay? I do have the lovers here, though, so probably is a love connection. There seems to be some type of emotional baggage, emotional conflict, where you are trying to surrender the challenges and the differences that you have been facing in your home life. I mean... Would be a home life if this is a husband or wife situation, marriage, could be living with someone, it could just be family in general. But I see you surrendering because the battle, you don't, you're like, I can't fight this anymore. I think that every direction or every avenue that you've been looking in has been, it's been a challenge for you and now you're ready to just, you're ready to just let go. Um... You're trying to think about what move you're going to make, how, which direction, how do you want to proceed. But in doing so, there is a aha moment, some type of clarity or communication breakthrough or truth. A light will be shown to you that will help you see this decision or this situation from a higher perception. You seem to be apprehensive about change or you seem to be apprehensive about letting something go maybe something that was done to you or somebody who wronged you or but it, it it's it's you being apprehensive about 
releasing something and, and, and kind of what I'm getting here is um, like releasing karma, releasing past behaviors, releasing truths of yourself that maybe you're not ready to face. Like you don't want to see it as something that you need to let go of Capricorn. And you're also apprehensive about what does it mean for me to, um, cause judgment is about repentance in case you guys didn't know that. Not only is it an awakening, but you can only experience a true spiritual awakening by repenting, which is taking accountability for negative actions that you have done in your life, um, forgiving yourself, this isn't about other people, and turning away from that action, not doing that anymore, not being that person anymore, removing that person from your being. That energy no longer is a part of me. Again, you seem apprehensive Could have to be because you learned something about a love connection or even releasing somebody else's energy. <clears throat> I feel like it's also about letting go of particular views that have been holding you back. All right, so let's take a look. But you are surrendering. You're, you're ready and willing, but there's just, it's more of like, well, what does it mean if I do that? Okay. In the recent past, you have the page of wands, the two of wands, the three of wands. Recent past, travel, moving going to a new location, wanting uh, to level up, or you were trying to level up. This was a new idea, a new um, journey here with the Page of Wands, okay? Very fresh, could have just been an idea. And you were starting to take small actions towards something that excited you. It's like you put something in motion and then there was conflict because it's the five of wands. Like you started off on something and then you were faced with making a decision and somehow that decision brought you conflict and now you're looking for something new. I feel like this page of wands and three of wands is something separate and forgive me real quick. Nayeli Amor, please close the door. Thank you. I had just a little bit so the cats can come in and out with the noise. Forgive me. Just a little bit. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you so much. So with this new direction, new journey, this page of wands, with this new message in the recent past, I also feel like whatever this, this opportunity, message, or decision, excitement was, because I feel like it's a new opportunity that you went off on, you were then faced with a crossroads. All of a sudden you had to decide what you were going to do with it. It wasn't as easy as just going forward, right? And now you're in this three of wands energy here, waiting for things to come in, waiting to see the fruits of the efforts that you've put in. Clarify this, please. Page of wands and the two of wands. Okay, you have a lot of five of wands here and then karma and the four of pentacles and the two yeah why it's a real you're battling with a lot of karma right now a lot of burdens a lot of things are coming up because this is the five and the five ten which you have here you have the five of wands here and the ten of wands here you're dealing there's a lot of fires that you need to put out and it, it's karma everything that you're dealing with right now is a result of your own actions but again, this four of pentacles, and, and I know I can hear people now, well, somebody did this to me. We are responsible. Go through this spiritual awakening and you will learn. We are responsible for every situation we are in. Um, and I see that that is a struggle for some of you. Some of you are past this. Others of you, Capricorn, I feel like you're in the energy of like, I, it's not me, it was this other person. So I'm just the messenger and I, forgive me if I trigger you, but clearly God's trying to get a message here to you. There is conflict and it has to do with karma. So what you were clearing out in the past was your karma, but there was also a struggle with releasing certain karmics, karmic situations, karmic behaviors. 
um, needing to do things from a higher level, needing to, and what I mean by higher level, so many interruptions, forgive me. He will continue to meow. Okay, so there is this energy of uh, not being able to let go of certain past beliefs, behaviors, and perceptions and there's also a fight i feel like somebody and maybe this isn't your energy maybe this is who you're dealing with but there's an energy here of someone trying to fight their karma like i'm I, like if i just keep doing this i'm not gonna get it there could have been issues with magic as well for some of you who are active in that i see this back and forth going on with the five of wands between you and someone else and it's like somebody can't change that that their, their ways. You can't fight God. I don't know who's trying to fight God, but you can't fight God. And that's what I'm seeing here. Someone's trying to battle themselves getting karma. Because they're refusing to release this judgment. They're refusing to step in. To the truth of who they are somebody might be struggling with taking accountability here okay currently you have the page of cups the wheel and the empress that's quite a jump from the page to the empress again the wheel there's karma here there's lessons involved some of you could be getting pregnant like you don't think it's going to happen but it's going to happen and it's part of the karma or somebody's dealing with karma from a past pregnancy or birth also what i'm seeing here with this page of cups the wheel and the empress is that you know pages are childlike immature in the sense of decision making right they're not they're not aligned with a king or a queen they're children um it's almost like this person kept making decisions same as up here with this page kept making offers and presenting themselves not seriously to serious life situations that are now being created immature decisions are creating massive life changes here i feel like for some of you capricorn this may be somebody else who's in your you know vicinity and the energy you know is connecting to yours or it's affecting your life as well clarify this page of cups in the wheel this is about intentionally it's about making intentionally good decisions but this person seems to be making intentionally bad decisions clarified by the seven of swords a lot of hidden motives a lot of hidden secrets a lot of hidden lives happening yeah and then you have life on earth somebody is not doing this right Somebody is not doing life on earth right. And that's what the wheel is. It's like you have the faded life or you have the destiny life. Someone is really, really struggling with aligning to their destiny, their purpose. They're staying in these cycles. And it has to do with the seven of swords and life on earth. There's somebody here who they lie, they steal, they cheat. They don't tell the truth. They're sneaky. They're manipulative. I feel like this has to do with a lot of their actions towards others. There isn't, where is the realness here? This is a deep one. And I, I apologize if this is triggering someone, but I, I have to read it the way um, it's being presented to me. And I, I'm not choosing the cards that are coming out. For some of you, this may have to do with a child. This may have to do with your own inner child. This may also have to do with parent wounds. You're dealing with familial issues here in your family, either between you and your own children, you and your parents, okay? Clarify the wheel and the empress. What's coming in with the wheel and the empress? There's opportunities. There's 
because again, you have life on earth, which is the world card. And then look at the Empress's belly. You create your life on earth. You create how your life is going to go based on every decision you make. Are you making the proper decisions? Is the person around you making the proper decisions? Clarify the wheel and the empress, please. You have soulmates, the, which is the lover's card, which we saw here the Eight of Wands, and then the Weaver, which is the Page of Swords. So many pages. This has to do with relationships, either an actual intimate relationship because we have the lovers, or this is about your partnership with other people the wheel and the empress and how they play out in your life because it looks like there is a connection here that you are aligned to or could be aligned to uh because you have soulmates this person is meant to be in your life but how it's portraying itself is very toxic eight of wands and the page of swords um i feel like there's a lot of back and forth this is fire this is arguments. This is like, I don't like this energy. I feel like um, somebody is just kind of blindly moving forward, not even really realizing how much everything they do weaves a life story for them. And it's all based on a faulty foundation. So there's a need, if you feel like you've moved past this situation, Capricorn, and it's still showing up here in a reading, there may still be some toxic energy um, that is connected, still something hidden or lies or truth about an offer or message that you received or gave to somebody. There's still a lot hidden here, okay? Now, I see it transitioning because I see someone getting fed up with their own self, I have the Hierophant, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles in the near future. There is a higher perception, a higher knowledge that will be received. There's a key that will be given to you, Capricorn. It lies in your memories. It lies in your past. Okay? You're going to receive some type of clarity through meditation and prayer. The veil will be lifted. There is also something here with marriage and commitment, children involved, long term. Finally seeing the light, seeking guidance too with the higher fund. Then you have the queen of pentacles. So you do end up grounding yourself from this situation. You do end up centering yourself, finding peace and pulling yourself out because you have the three of wands, the empress and the queen of pentacles. So whatever this is that you're trying to navigate through, a lot of you are at the space Capricorn where you understand that I just have to be patient right now because I am clearing out karma and I am making different decisions. I am trying to get out. So it's going to come to me. I'm going to sit in my peace. I'm surrendering. Others of you are still kind of clearing up the muck and in still in karmic cycles, but they are coming to a close. They're coming to a close as you become enlightened and realize what needs to happen for you to, to change the outcome of your life. If there's people around you, you know, that keep putting you in certain situations or toxic cycles or patterns, you have to recognize it and remove yourself. If it's not aligning with the type of life that you're trying to create for yourself, why are you still there? That's what you got to ask yourself. Clarify the hierarchy on the Six of Cups. The spirit plane, which is the chariot, the four of wands, yes, and the ten of pentacles. And see, then you have the four of swords on the bottom. There is, you are moving towards a more stable environment. Some of you may be having an investment come in out of nowhere because you have the ten of pentacles here. But there is movement towards stability, alignment, celebration, healing. But it comes through meditation and taking a break. There's something that has to be paused. And I feel like it's just you slowing down inside and really trying to get aligned 
with who you are and what it is you're looking for. Making sure that every situation that you get yourself involved in is for your highest good and for your highest growth. If it, do, if it doesn't align, don't do the time. That's really how I feel. I can't give you my time and my energy. That doesn't align with where I'm trying to go in my life. And sometimes it'll be your own people that you got to walk away from. I'm just a messenger. Closing messages, please, for Capricorn. But you are going to find your peace. I see it here. <laughs> I love that we end with four of swords. And then the card that came out is time for a nap. You need to rest. You need to rest. You need to recalibrate. All right. You have the number 24, which is also six transitioning, walking away from things that no longer serve you, resting. All right. 24, time for a nap. Rest, rejuvenation, renewal. Temporary non-action. Remember in the beginning I said I feel a void. Allowing dreams to arise. This is a time to step away and rest. Let the cares of your world go. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your lists, and your desires. Nothing is as important as your rest, detachment, and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back, take a seat, and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Absent any force or conscious direction as you observe without engaging. When it comes to matters of the heart, do not make any plans right now. If you are not in a relationship, it's good to take this time out to get to know yourself truly. If you are involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This needs to be an uneventful moment in time. Do not force anything. Allow things to flow naturally and a beautiful renewal will then come in and be able to take place. Patience is the key to your heart's desire right now. Withdraw action from all relationships and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. You need to pause because something here was not going in the right track. And so again, spirits wanting you to just sit sit and be with yourself get to know who you are get to know what it is you want are you aligned with the life that you want and how can you align with god's purpose more what can you do to bring him into your life more and i see you doing that here with the hierophant and the six of cups capricorn i'm sending you guys much love and i look forward to hearing from you soon